Six months ago, I decided to start posting to YouTube regularly and I thought it was about time that I made a journey to my first 500 subscribers video. Currently today, I'm sitting at 411 subscribers and it's taken me this long uh, to reach that number and I know for a lot of people that number is not massive, but for me, it's huge. That number is growing slowly every day. Why is it that I do what I do? Why am I posting videos to YouTube? What are some of the things I'm struggling with? And what are some of the things I'm hoping to achieve in 2024 going into 2025? So some great things about YouTube. I think the thing that I love the most about it is it pushes me outside of my comfort zone. It's uncomfortable to sit here in front of the camera and record yourself. I've, I think I've sat here for about half an hour before actually getting into this video and recording some content. <laughs> if you're in the same boat, please let me know in the comments down below. But I love it. It pushes me outside of my comfort zone. It also pushes me to be more creative. I remember the first time, the first urge I had to become a YouTuber was actually when I was real sick. I had blown out my L5S1, which is like a disc in your back, just totally herniated it. I spent months, like literally months when COVID first happened, lying down. The only thing that I could do was lie in bed and watch YouTube videos. And I tell you, I watched way too many YouTube videos but it inspired me. I really wanted to become a content creator and I've been on a bit of a journey since then, kind of deciding not to do that and then get really pumped about it again and posting a YouTube video and then just not. In 2024, I've doubled down on this idea and I want to be successful on YouTube. I want to create YouTube videos. I want to be inspired by people doing exactly what I'm doing, sitting in front of a camera and sharing their thoughts. And I hope the videos I make inspire you. If you want to become a YouTuber in 2024, don't let anything stop you from pursuing that dream. I just want to encourage you, all you got to do is just press that record button. All you got to do is start. Honestly, your first videos that you're going to make are going to suck. Go into my the videos that I've made and just have a solid lol. Go to the first, go, I made a video about a green screen back in the day. It is terrible. It's one of the worst videos I've ever made. I've lost a lot of weight since then as well. <laughs> just FYI. That video helped me get to where I am today. I just decided to press record way back then and look at where I am. I've got 411 subscribers. I'm pretty sure when I posted that video, I might've had like 11 subscribers. So you just have to start, you just have to press record. And I think the most important thing is like, don't press record and then hope for like perfection. Press record, get, la, 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 you know, get all that nervous energy out of your system, stop it, start again, press record you know, and launch into your, into recording your video. I think is, is the best thing. For, like, I am an introverted person, I am. I love hanging out with people, but I recharge solo. I need solo Ben activity time to recharge as an introvert and then I can go back out into the world <laughs> and function or not just hide it, I don't know. But anyway, like what I'm trying to say is like, get that nervous energy out of your system by pressing record, start again, have another crack at it. The next thing I want to talk about is your time management. It's really important that you set aside time, not to just like spray and pray, you know, just like shoot a bunch of stuff, stitch it together, chuck it up on the internet and hope that people watch it. You really need to take some time just to slow down. Slow down, pause, plan your video, have a think about the topic that you're gonna talk about. Does it, is anyone even gonna search for that topic? I think we have to realize that YouTube is the second biggest search engine owned by the same people that own the first one, right? It's Google, Google owns YouTube. What is Google? It's a search engine. What is YouTube? It's a search engine. People search on YouTube for ideas. They search on YouTube for answers. And I think the best thing that you can do, and this is part of the stuff I'm learning through Think Media, is to answer a specific question. This video here is not really answering a specific question, but it kind of is. It's answering a specific question for creators. So the title of my video is going to be how YouTube is changing my life. How has creating a YouTube channel changed my life? That's what this video is about. And the inspiring thing about it is I'm only at 411 subscribers. 
I really hope when I release this video that because I've studied some trends, because I've studied some other creators and the way that they're making these videos, is that this video is going to be picked up. And it's going to send my videos towards like a wider subscriber base that's interested in filmmaking, that's interested in cameras, that's interested in going on adventures, that's interested in GoPros, that's interested in solo activity that I share with the world. <laughs> it's what my, man, I'm such an introvert. I just want to be by myself. I just want to be by myself for the videos. That's what I want to do. Isn't that tragic? Before you hit record, I encourage you, just like I've done in this video, I've got a topic, I've got a title, I've got a thumbnail, I've got some tags, and I'm gonna load up my description full of keywords and information. That's going to help Google, that's going to help YouTube, help people find my video. You gotta make it as easy as possible for Google and YouTube to do that so that people find your videos. So I guess those are some of my thoughts, the great things about YouTube. It pushes me outside of my comfort zone as a creative. It helps me overcome some of my fears sitting in front of a camera talking to people. It helps me realize that, man, I've got a lot to contribute in this world. I've got a lot of cool ideas. I've got a lot of creativity. And if I don't share it with the world, man, people are missing out. People are missing out on Ben. People are missing out on you, right? If you don't take this step and just leap outside of your comfort zone. So if anything, if this video helps one person leap outside of your comfort zone, man, I've won. This video is a massive success. And if that's you, I want to know, I want to follow your journey. So like, leave me a comment. Let me know. Ben, thank you for encouraging me today. I'm stepping outside my comfort zone. Follow me on my journey. I'd love to follow you on yours. The next point that I want to make is to pick a niche and to pick something that you are really, really passionate about. Like you got to make sure that the thing that you want to talk about on your YouTube channel is just, it's oozing out of you. I think early days, I probably went too niche with my channel. So I really love to ride my motorbike, right? And my channel is still going to be about motorbikes. It's still going to be about going out on adventures. But what I'm going to do is try and just get more creative with filmmaking. I want it to be a little bit more about filmmaking, a little less about you should buy the 350 media because it ranks real highly on YouTube when I make videos about it. <laughs> like that niche is too small. So I'm broadening it and I'm pivoting my channel early days to be a little bit more about filmmaking, a little bit more about going out, meeting people, having fun, going on adventures. If you're interested in that kind of content, do me a favor, hit like and hit subscribe. That's what the future of this channel is gonna be about. And I'm gonna get more intentional about the type of shots that I'm getting. I want to get more creative with the lenses that I'm using. I want to step more into this filmmaking space rather than just like spray and pray and walk away. You know, I, I'm tired of that kind of video making. So you gotta pick a niche right? It's got to be your passion. Make sure you're passionate and you're talking about it. I think the best kind of channels are ones that are real consistent. You go on a channel and you, you want to subscribe to someone that has a bunch of videos and they're talking about a topic that you're interested in. So whether that's, you know, YouTubing or how to be successful on YouTube or moto vlogging or whatever else, you know, there is that people search for on YouTube. Pick a niche that you're passionate about and that you can make one video per week about that specific topic for a year, for more than a year, for two years. You got to be passionate about it. The next thing I wanted to talk about were the opportunities that come with YouTube. And I think in this digital age, the opportunities are immense that come with practicing a craft and filming yourself, talking to a camera, not being afraid to look down the lens of a camera and inspiring people. You have to think about your lighting. This light really doesn't do anything, but I put it here because there was just this empty space. <laughs> But you got to think about your lighting. You've got to think about your sound. I've got one microphone here. I've got a backup microphone over here just in case something happened, right? I'm problem solving the heck out of this YouTube video. Yo, I started filming my YouTube videos on a phone. Now it's evolved to filming on a camera. And I'll just show you real quick what I'm working with. So we've got a Canon R here. And my dream lens, it's a 24 to 70 f 2.8 
lens. We've got a Rode um, VideoMic Pro Plus here and we've got a Zoom H6. I've got some GoPro, like you see my notes. The crazy thing about all that, that's quite a ridiculous setup for a YouTube video, but it is achieving something. It's achieving the look that I've always wanted to achieve on my YouTube videos. Clarity and depth of field and also just sounding mint. Those are the three things that I really care about when I'm filming a YouTube video. And the crazy thing is I've acquired all this gear either through the generosity of people loaning it to me and um, I want to talk real quick about the sponsor of this video which is Suburbia. It's a, it's a photo and film studio based out in Papamoa. The guys there have been so kind to me especially over these last two videos. They're loaning me lenses that I can use and review. This lens here is the 24-70 f2.8 Canon just goat. I love how it's all written there. Hourglass lens. I've always wanted to use this lens. There's no way I could afford it. The crazy thing is you don't have to be able to afford it. You can rent lenses and I'm going to leave a description in my bio below where you can rent this lens if you happen to live in Tauranga in the North Island of New Zealand. The most hilarious thing about that most of my subscribers live overseas, but I'm hoping to tap more into my home, <laughs> my father that lives in New Zealand. I'd love for people in New Zealand to watch my videos. So hopefully the algorithm can help me out. The most important thing, and this is another thing I've learned from Think Media, it's not about your resources, it's about your resourcefulness. And what I mean about that is, the beautiful thing about YouTube is I've met some crazy amazing people. The camera body that I'm filming on. I've borrowed that from Pathways Bible College, which is a Bible college here in Tauranga. I can't thank you guys enough for letting me use that camera body. This microphone here, I actually got this because I filmed something at a wedding. And now I have this amazing microphone that I purchased for that event. If you're getting down in the dumps about gear acquisition syndrome, I have been there. You need to think outside of the box about how you can get your hands on some of this gear. Maybe you just need to rent it and you just need to make, make batch record like a whole bunch of YouTube videos. Maybe you need to borrow something off a friend. Maybe you need to take a call from your wife. Love you, bye. <laughs> I'm so not almost finished recording my video. Family first. So I've talked about some great things. I've also want to talk about some challenges. Man, that's a challenge. Life is busy, right? People are demanding your attention, but also people deserve your attention. And I want to encourage just all of those out there. Man, don't put your family life on hold for YouTube. Don't do it. Family comes first. It's so important. So yeah, I would love to record this YouTube video all day, but I'm not. Put my gear down, I'm gonna pause, I'm gonna go have lunch with my family. Later this afternoon, I'm heading to the beach uh, where I'm gonna be taking some photo shoots for some families. And that's gonna be my day. And it's all good. And I love that this is my life now. So I think probably you know, another one of the biggest struggles that I face is just, is just getting started. So I encourage you, if you're just starting, just set up your camera, press record, talk about the things that you're passionate about, edit the living daylights out of that video so it's short and sweet and nice and choppy. Don't let perfection hold you back. You're gonna get better with every single video that you upload. So some things I like to overcome in 2024 is the 500 subscriber barrier. I would love to just keep growing, but I know that what it's gonna take is another video. What it's gonna take is to be really committed to hanging out in YouTube and making videos that people are searching for and uploading them. Those are my final thoughts for you in this video today. And I just wanted to encourage you if you've got this far in the video that you can do this. You are someone that is thinking about starting a YouTube channel. I just want to encourage you to go for it. Do it. Set up a channel. Search for how you do that. Figure out a topic that you're going to talk about. Figure out thumbnails, how to create them figure out how to tag your video and optimize your description. These are all skills that you need to master before really you start a YouTube channel. So anyway, if you've got value out of this video today, I'm only ever going to ask two things of you. I'm going to ask you to hit the like button and I'm going to ask you to hit subscribe. And I want to talk about why that's important. 
The more people that like these videos, the more people that subscribe to these videos, it means the more videos that I can make, the more time that I can spend researching how to crack this thing called YouTube and I can share this experience with you. That's all I'm ever gonna ask of you and if it's not too much to ask, I love it if you could hit like and if you could hit subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Kaki tip.